Well, hello and welcome back. Today we're looking at the uh, Colt uh, Model M, and this was also known as the Colt's uh, Pocket Hammerless. This was one of two designs in the uh, Pocket Hammerless uh, lineup. They had an excellent lineup that uh, consisted of the 32 ACP that was introduced in 1903. In 1908, they introduced uh, two different ones. This is the uh, 380 Model M, and then the other one we're going to see is the uh, 25 ACP uh, the little vest pocket hammerless. A couple of uh, really cool designs here. Another fabulous uh, John Browning design. I mean, uh, American true genius uh, gun designer. Uh, it looks great. Um, one of the things I like to note about this pistol is it reminds me so much of the 1911. It's got a lot of similarities, especially in this very early model I have here in my hand. The barrel bushings on the front, and then the biggest thing is the slide comes off the front, and that's what really kept the uh, 1911 from being accepted from the military earlier was that was one of the issues. It had that failure area at the point where the slide block attaches. If you haven't seen the videos on the uh, Colt 1900s, you might want to take a look at those and you can see why it took so long to develop. It took the decade it did to develop the 1911. But this, to me, is like a baby 1911. It also has the grip safety and the uh, slide lock safety that really probably contributed a lot to the popularity of these uh, pocket a uh, hammerless. Uh, the 38 ACP, the uh, Colt Pocket Hammer, there's another video you can look at at that, the smaller version of the Sporting, it didn't have any safeties. And that was probably one of the reasons it didn't sell so well. I mean, the larger caliber and everything, it was a little bit bigger of a gun, but it, no safeties, and uh, pretty dangerous, I suppose. But anyway, um, we're looking at a true 1903, this is a model or uh, serial number 224, and then we have uh, 1908. This actually shipped in 1909. There was only one that was produced in 1908, according to factory records. So we have a, a early version of each one. And um, some of the other things with this, there was 570,000 of the 32 ACPs that were produced, and we had of the 380s, it was I think 168,000 thereabouts and um, really very popular. Uh, the civilian population loved these. The military used it. Um, there was one order I think prior to World War II that the US Navy Yards ordered these. I think it was 200 for primarily couriers. They were chambered in 32 ACP. Um, it was adopted during World War II as a general officer's pistol and uh, there's, uh, it was of course issued to all the major generals, Eisenhower, Bradley, Patton, Marshall, and uh, the British used it. Uh, Japan, before World War II, had two shipments of 5,000 of these, so uh, the general officers were approved to use these during World War II, and, or prior to World War II for the Japanese. Um, what else? It was, oh, it was uh, adopted by uh, many police departments. And uh, it was, uh, so you'll have many, uh, like Boston Police, Chicago, I think uh, Portland, Oregon. Um, there were several different uh, police departments that these were issued to also. And uh, let's see, we'll get into some of the specifics of it now. It was a uh, uh, capacity of 8 in the 32, and uh, in the 380 it was a capacity of 7 for the magazine. Um, the overall length in the uh, later models was six and three quarters. It was seven inches up till I think it was 1909 or uh, 1908, I believe it was, is when they changed the barrel length, and they reduced it by a quarter of an inch. And um, so the barrel length on the uh, later models is three and three quarters. The height of the pistol is four and a half inches, and then the w the width is only three quarters of an inch. So really nice and narrow. You know, it doesn't have any big bulky sights. It so it's pretty smooth, it very easily concealed, and it's only 24 ounces. So uh, pretty light for back then. Now there's five different types of these, and this is a type one, of course, 
and it's distinguished by the barrel bushing and then by the length of the barrel. The Type 2 still has the separate barrel bushing like this, but it goes to the 3 and 3 quarter inch barrel. Then the Type 3, it becomes an integrated barrel bushing where the barrel bushing is integrated with the slide. And um, then the barrel turns and it's a notch to come out. Um, and then uh, Type 4, still the integrated barrel bushing, but now there's a magazine safety also. And then the Type 5 is still an integrated barrel bushing, 3 and 3 quarter inch barrel of course, but it's got military sights and a magazine is on both, the, uh, the magazine safety is on both the commercial and the U.S. property variations. And uh, let's see, what else do we want to talk about? Oh, the, the pistol, you know, being the Browning design, just changed very little over the course of its lifetime. The Shanghai Police Department found that there was some uh, problems with it because it was primarily built as a civilian uh, home defense kind of uh, model, but adopted by the police department of Shanghai, it got a lot of use, and uh, so they had to come up with some modifications. Here I wanted to show you a stripped down one. You can see that it's really, truly not a hammerless uh, pistol. It does have a pistol here, and I'll go ahead and I'll release the, or, you know, the pistol does have a hammer, and there it is. So, you can see that there. And then, uh, the way the barrel works, it uh, locks into these grooves here. So you can see uh, what it looks like with the slide off. And that's pretty much it. Um, I'm going to go into a few videos on the details between the uh, models, the way it evolved. It's very similar to how, if you've been watching these videos, how the military model and uh, the uh, 1900, or excuse me, just the military model and the uh, 38 ACP, uh, the um, pocket hammer developed with serrations and bluing and those kinds of things. Very similar, of course. But anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Just an introduction to the uh, Colt Pocket Hammerless uh, Model M. Thanks for watching.